Hello everyone, Shinto Bean here taking another look at Realms of Ruin, a real-time strategy game set in the Age of Sigmar universe. Just today they revealed some more gameplay footage which looks like it's from the Stormcast and Cruel Boys campaign. And while we don't have much to go off of, if you take a close look you can get an idea of how matches will play out in this game. First we see a squad of liberators running across the field in what looks like the beginning tutorial mission. On the bottom left it looks like they have an upgrade for Sigmarite shields, and one unit consists of four liberators. They're running towards what looks like one of the many objectives on the battlefield, and here you can see them actually capturing it. While we don't know the victory conditions for the battles in this game, it looks like map control is a key element to the gameplay, and it looks like once you've captured these points you can build structures on them which serve different functions. I imagine most of them will generate resources for you automatically, while others may have defensive capabilities. And here we can see that these circular points are called arcane conduits on which you can build a number of bastions. The way shrines selected here can heal and reinforce your units. And the icon on this one appears to be the same symbol that is used for the orange resource at the top. It's also interesting to note that this game is 17 minutes in and we only have 5 out of 8 units. In this next scene we see a kill boss leading a horde of cruel boys including hobgrots, gut rippers, and bolt boys. And you can see how many troops are in each of those squads. Here we get a closer look at the Gut Rippers who have the Scare Tactics ability, and as they engage the Liberators we can see a cinematic fight sequence. Over here we see some Vanguard Hunters battling over an objective, and a Knight Vexilor fighting another group of Gut Rippers. So we do have single heroic units in addition to squads of infantry. In addition to melee units we have ranged units like these Man Skewer Boat Boys who appear to have some sort of stealth ability, so they can sneak up on the foe. And here we can see them exchanging fire with some vanguard raptors before being blasted by a spell from a stormcast hero. Over here we have the beast skewer killbow which on the tabletop is an artillery piece which excels at taking down monsters. Here we see it fire off a shot against some infantry. And this is the marsh crawler slogoth which we see casting a net which ensnares and stuns a group of infantry. Here we see a squad of three prosecutors which look like they have at least two upgrades or abilities, Heralds of Righteousness and Celestial Barrage, and they fly across the battlefield before slamming down and knocking back some gut rippers. Here we see the Merc Knob, which is a heroic unit for the crew boys, casting Breath of the Mire Drakes, which has a 45 second cooldown and a wide area of effect. Nice looking animations for the abilities. And the last thing worth looking at is the mini map, which you can see on the bottom right corner of the screen. And there are actually a number of different maps uh, throughout this video, so it looks like they took clips from several different missions. And you can see all the objectives and different icons for what I assume are different structures which you can build on those points. And there are red and yellow zones which indicate which area is controlled by which faction at that moment. So I like what I'm seeing here, I, it's really everything I expect from an Age of Sigma RTS. Uh, there will be an open beta on July 7th through the 10th, so definitely looking forward to that. And then it sounds like they will be releasing more information uh, prior to that over the next few weeks. So keep an eye out for more info on this game. But let me know what you think. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.